here at SEMA 2022, showing off a couple of our new products. I'm here with Sam. Sam's helped with the development of a few of these things. We're getting all the software dialed in. So let's talk about our power distribution module. So in our industrial side of our company, we've made a lot of these, like over 100,000 in work trucks and industrial vehicles. So for the aftermarket automotive, we took CAN bus, we included it in this, it has 10 relays on board, uh, four 40 amp ones and six 15 amps. Uh, for display, we have it hooked up to a Blink Marine keypad. We have a little web GUI that we created. Um, this is a pretty cool part and it's about $250 retail without the keypad. So awesome part for a guy tuning a car or like a marine installation. There's all sorts of applications for this. Sam can kind of run you through how it works. So what we got here is um, on this display, we set it up with a mock-up car to kind of like showcase a little bit of uh, kind of what you would see in an in-car in application. That's mostly what I work with. Um, so Bob brought me on to kind of like try to integrate this into uh, like vehicle applications. Um, let's say you're wiring up a hot rod or a race car or something like that, then you can use this to control stuff like say your blinkers. You can do the other blinkers. You can do a hazards function. Um, you can do stoplights. You can do fuel pump and so on and so forth. Um, and the cool thing about this, in my opinion, is since we got the two units here, which we'll talk about them both, um, you can make these two work together. So let's say you're controlling a fuel pump and a fan with one of these units over here, um, then you can make them talk to each other. So let me show you how the software looks. It's super simple. It's a very simple software. Anybody can set it up. Um, that was the goal of the software. It was to make it as simple to use as possible, very user friendly. So if we go on here, you can see that the software essentially consists of each button, what type of function you use, whether the button is a momentary push button like you would use on a starter or a maintain button like you would use on a fuel pump. This is also known as latching. Um, then you have your on color selection. We're gonna have a few more color options on here that the Blink keypad allows us to use. Um, we have the off color function and what outputs are assigned to that button. So you can assign more than one output so that you can wire things individually. Um, it also consists of uh, several inputs that you can use that are hardwired into the unit, which are selectable down here. And with jumpers inside the unit, you can select whether the input is a ground base or a 12 volt base input, um, and that'll trigger different um, outputs on the unit. So also you'll see on here on the software, you have remote button. So that is for this thing right here. And I think this is, this is probably one of the cooler things about this is they have integrated it with uh, radio frequency. So this is essentially like a, like a, uh, so, like a key, like a beeper for like. It's a key fob. So yep. it's a 433 megahertz key fob. We built a lot of key fob products. So we just plopped our existing radio in here. And we have a family of transmitters, a four button, a six button, and a, and a multi-channel, uh, 75 channel transmitter. So I mean, you can do all sorts of cool stuff with it. It's great if you're putting this in a car, maybe you want to add a keyless entry feature, or mm -hmm. um, you know, if you're doing like a car trailer and you want to turn on and off the lights, do some things with it, you can control the winch wirelessly. Yep. Um, it just adds a lot of flexibility to the installation. Yep. In our application, um, we have the Fox Body Race Car, the Foxilla. Um, if we put one of these in it, um, we could potentially run the cooling fans out from outside of the car to have them running for a little bit, cool the car down after a session or something, and then just turn them off. And I'm gonna show you. The cool thing about this is these two work together. So when you hit a button on here, it'll change the keypad color to the on button. So let's do the fan. So the fan is output number eight. So if I press this, right, it turns that on. But then if I press this, it also turns it on. And that, that's pretty cool. So. Essentially, everything that keypad can do with this specific one, it's it's like the partner to that keypad. So you got 10 buttons on here, 10 buttons on there, and they do the exact same function. So a few more things to touch on is this unit's programmed via RS-485, which is a serial connection. 
and it can plug in the USB port to any computer. You just pick your uh, COM port for your USB, and then once you configure the unit the way that you want it, you can save that file. And if you're doing multiple installations over and over the same thing, all you gotta do is just save the file to your units, and you can just wash, rinse, and repeat. And then if you need to edit something, just edit it, save it as a new file, and you say, hey, this vehicle XYZ is this file, and you can just go on and on and on from there. It makes it super convenient for low volume production.